Very good morning to all my dear friends. I am Prashant Mauni and I warmly welcome all of you to Study IQ. Today is Sunday as well as Kite Festival. The country is celebrating or you can say the country is flying kites. Uh, today many of you would be on the terrace at present as we are speaking. Uh, with this dear friends, uh, we'll talk about this festival at the end of this discussion. But before that, I would like to share this wonderful motivating or you can say inspiring quotation from Albert Einstein. What he's saying here that never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is more powerful than the one with all the facts. Now, uh, dreams, I think dreams, not I think, but I know it for the fact that dreams are basically seeds. These seeds have a potential uh, to manifest itself into fruit bearing trees. And then you can take these trees or you can convert them into a big forest as well. So this is basically the potential of a seed or a dream so make sure that you protect your dream and uh, dreaming and working for it is bigger than or basically you can say that you at your start you would you won't be having all those things uh, that are required but if your dream is right and if you are giving all that is required uh, for this seed to germinate then you can achieve whatever you are trying to do get in your life with this dear friends uh, study iq provides pen drive and tablet courses for various different exams at present lohri sale is on you get up to 40 percent discount tomorrow is the last date so make sure you make the most out of this up to 40 percent discount with this one this picture you find it in today's hindu and one of the reason why i have uh, sticked this picture here on our lecture is because i want you guys to observe this picture right take out time take out five minutes or ten minutes do it and uh, try to find out and i'm sure right uh, you will benefit out of it try to find out the things the minute details uh, uh, that this uh, basically this uh, painter has uh, uh, included in this thing right uh, you can see a sort of stand uh, why this lady carrying a sort of you can say a scale why she is uh, sitting uh, next to this pole uh, she is wearing a sort of uh, a ribbon around her uh, around her eyes and so there are many things uh, do i would uh, request all of you to at least spend five minutes uh, behind this analyzing uh, meticulously analyzing this picture with this dear friends the first item that we have is pertaining to india pakistan relations now we know that this thing was in news a couple of days ago as well and before i elaborate any further i would like to uh, inform all those new students that see today is sunday uh, we don't get uh, editorials on sunday right there are no editorials or articles uh, that we analyze what we do on sunday is uh, we take important news uh, that are when i say important i mean to say important in terms of your exam right so all those uh, items that are relevant for your exam we take them and then we break them down and then we analyze them right so this is the thing that we follow on uh, sunday and uh, of course uh, we also try to add science uh, snt science and technology news uh, as well uh, so this is the pattern of Sunday's analysis. So right, uh, we were talking about this uh, India-Pakistan relationship. Now this thing uh, was in news uh, a couple of days ago as well. Basically a meeting took place between National Security Advisors of India and Pakistan. Uh, three meetings uh, took place in Bangkok and one in Russia. Now the thing is uh, you might have heard about this thing, right? Uh, India has time and again said that terror and talks cannot go together. This has been said repeated many a times it is not something it's not just a statement it is our stand right uh, this is how diplomacy or this is how you communicate not only to Pakistan but other countries as well so this used to be our statement but now at present you can see that there has been a bit of addition uh, on this uh, statement and that is that but talks on terror can definitely go ahead what we are trying to tell here is that when it comes to developing economical relationship, people-to-people -people contact, or you can say um, partnership in other spheres, right, uh, with Pakistan, we are not going to do that until and unless Pakistan creates a situation or creates an environment which is peaceful, which is free of terrorism. Now, we know it again. I'm not saying this thing only because I am an Indian. Of course, as an Indian, I love my country. Right, like every one of you but when we are analyzing things we have to be practical and logical right uh, we cannot 
go with emotions uh, we have to keep a fine balance i'm not saying emotions are all bad but we have to keep a fine balance when we are analyzing relationship between india and pakistan and the reason is that uh, this particular topic is very important pakistan is one of the most important country for our nation when i say important now you can either say negatively or positively it depends on uh, what we know or uh, what are the things that we are taking on table when we are analyzing this relationship the thing is that it is our neighbor we cannot change our neighborhood right and the troubles or the things that are going on in pakistan uh, it has a direct or indirect relationship or you can say its impact in our country uh, the thing is a couple of days ago it was in news that a uh, a person who is declared as terrorist by India as well as international organizations as well as international community that person is going to stand for election a general election that is going to take place either this year or next year in Pakistan I'm not sure about the date uh, I beg your pardon for that but that person is going to stand uh, for election in, in, in election right so you can imagine just in case if that person is able to God forbid if that person becomes uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan, then it is going to be very dangerous for our country. Uh, at present, it doesn't look like that. But uh, you can also imagine that if gradually, if uh, these types of parties, if they are able to uh, take a pie out of it, or you can say if their share is increasing in, electoral, in, 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 in terms of uh, seats in their... Uh, uh, legislature or you can say their parliament then this is going to be a dangerous situation isn't it then that person will become a sort of official person uh, of Pakistan so this sort of things are going on uh, and uh, of course we want after Uri attack we have clearly stated uh, before that uh, Prime Minister tried or the government of India tried very well to develop as good relationship with Pakistan as possible but uh, in return we have always what we have got is backstabbing so anyways, uh, this new statement that talks on terror can definitely go on. I believe this is a very positive statement or very positive stand taken by India. What we are saying is that talks and terror, so relationship development and cordial relationship, let's keep that thing on side. At present, let's discuss terrorism. What you are going to do about the terrorists and the terrorism that is uh, being uh, that that breeding ground is provided by your country so it is a positive move if we don't talk on this thing as well then uh, it is going to be from there the things are going to be uh, going down rather than going up with this dear friends the uh, second item that we have is pertaining to supreme court yesterday we talked about it i'm not going to break down uh, the things uh, when i say i'm not going to I, I'm, I'm not being rude but what i'm trying to do is uh, i have a question for you at the end of this slide and uh, the basically the question is about what happened uh, regarding or why this sort of turmoil or what are the issues that are going on with our judiciary now the central government has clearly stated that it is not going to intervene and uh, that does not mean that central government is not interested but the central government can uh, provide advice uh, but it cannot uh, it cannot uh, you can say dictate uh, so it is better for the central government not to make this thing a bit of or give a sort of political shade now the best solution as recommended by supreme court bar association uh, associations executive committee they have said that uh, it's better that all the 25 judges at present we have 25 judges on uh, in our supreme court uh, there are uh, a shortage of six judges at present so all these 25 judges can uh, sit together and then they uh, they can f try to find out a solution we know it very well they are we are talking about uh, some of the most mature people in our country right uh, some of the most sensible people in our country so of course, uh, they can do this thing. It is not going to be that difficult. They know when to keep their ego on side. They are trained for this because they are uh, judges. So hopefully, this uh, all these uh, problems that are going on uh, will be sorted out in near future. Let's uh, hope that it uh, does. And uh, regarding the question, we will talk about it when we reach at the end of this discussion. With this, dear friends, a uh, second item, uh, something that is pertaining to it, it is about PIL. Now, uh, sadly, a judge CBI judge B H uh, lawyer uh, he uh, he had a very you can say 
all of a sudden death uh, and uh, it is believed that something fishy uh, is behind his death uh, whatever it is uh, whether there has been something or not we don't know yet but investigation should go on because uh, that this judge the CBI judge, Mr. Justice Lawyer, he was uh, looking after the Sorabuddin Sheikh encounter trial. You know, this is a very high profile case going on. Amit Sa, a very famous face uh, in our country, BJP leader, is associated. It is alleged that uh, there is some sort of association of Amit Sa with this case. We don't know the truth yet. It is subjudiced thing. So there is no point of us commenting on this thing. But one thing that we can demand for or we can wish for is that a thorough and neat and clean investigation and this whole process of uh, this judicial process should go on and uh, this uh, death of BH lawyer should be investigated with this uh, a small item uh, sad for many families in our country I do understand right and my uh, my prayers goes out uh, to all those families who are at present grieving in pain but uh, from here we are not going to talk about or analyze we um, what i'm trying to tell you here is that have your gender studies how you can connect the dots with current affairs right uh, see here the news item is that a helicopter got crashed uh, it was uh, ongc's helicopter and uh, it, it got crashed it, it was uh, basically heading towards this offshore rigs now offshore rigs are the rigs uh, from where you extract petrol and things like that right oil basically so the question is why do we find this sort of rigs here nearby mumbai uh, uh, we um, i'm sure many of you might have heard about uh, mumbai high right uh, so mumbai high is a place where from where we extract uh, petrol so why do we find it here the reason behind it is the, the movement of tectonic plates uh, when you will study geography and uh, with geography with uh, that if you study economics then you will find that in different parts of our country we find different types of uh, resources uh, you learn about uh, in geography as well as uh, economy about agriculture different types of soils and things like that and uh, we have black uh, type of soil and on those soils you find uh, you have specific items that you can grow on that soil right and uh, one of the reason behind the formation of this rock and soil and all these things right is because of uh, it, its history right the history of uh, tectonic plates and the things that have natural uh, things that took place here so here what happened basically is uh, you have this Deccan trap uh, lava coming out uh, from the bottom or you can say from uh, from the core right the lava uh, found its way uh, up it, it it found some cracks and uh, a couple of th I'm talking about what lakhs of years ago and uh, then you had this big blast and all the mountain ranges uh, that uh, some of the mountains uh, famous mountains uh, that are part of history like say for example Girnar of uh, Junagadh in uh, Gujarat so you find history because Ashoka's history and things like that are associated with it so here you have a portion of history as well then you have part of geography and based on that you have your economy and based on that you have your political setup because uh, if your country is agricultural country or whether it is uh, working in service sector and things like that depends on what type of uh, profession uh, is uh, you can say what in which profession the maximum people are engaged with so this you can say blast of uh, lavas took uh, or created this Deccan traps right and Deccan traps this portion here is Deccan trap and it uh, the another speciality of this thing is is that it's world's longest lava flow so you can say the lava flowed from here till here and you might have heard about this Krishna Godavari basin of reliance and uh, government's uh, problems going on again it was associated with extracting gas out of this Krishna Godavari basin so this is these are some of the basic reasons right gender studies reasons uh, and then you have to connect it, it, this thing with current affairs this is how you develop your clarity and uh, i believe that clarity is the key to mastery moving on to another item a joy ride uh, this is a thing a small again a tragic incident uh, but it is more about asking yourself and observing right observing the things uh, that are going on around us now very quickly what happened basically in a picnic a boat capsized and three students died and uh, police uh, 
have uh, registered a case uh, due to, and uh, the reason is negligence uh, of, of the person of the boatman right now the thing is uh, you, every time we have this sort of incident then we find that uh, the government will come out with some sort of uh, compensation amount right two lakh or three lakh rupees I'm not saying that this money should not be given of course uh, this should be given to the family but this is not going to replace that person so what we can do this is uh, going to be it is not going to cure the pain as well but it is going to be something that we do after or post incident what we can do to prevent this sort of things imagine how many life jackets you know that life jackets that you can wear and that will prevent you from uh, from drowning in the water that life jacket i believe roughly speaking right i'm not expert in this thing but 500 rupees would be uh, within 500 rupees you can get a good quality life jacket now imagine how many you can buy for two lakh rupees or more than that now what about distributing these things uh, this uh, this life jackets to all those people who are a part of or who who are engaged with this sort of uh, business of uh, or boatmen right everyone should have if they if their boat is uh, capable of carrying 23 people then they should have 23 life jackets and everyone should wear one right without that if they are not wearing then you should have uh, power to capture the boats and things like that so implementation is a thing because this is about someone's life someone's family right uh, so this are the things so it is about society it is more about asking ourselves in which type of society and what are the things that we can do to change the things that are going on at present Dalai Lama is in Bodh Gaya and he's going to stay there for one month and uh, ASEAN members are going to be in India and you know that uh, relationship of Buddhism and ASEAN countries so uh, we don't know yet whether there is going to be any sort of interaction between the Dalai Lama and ASEAN countries but let's wait and watch uh, with this dear friends uh, Karnataka refuses Kaveri water to Tamil Nadu citing scarcity now important items Kaveri river as well as Samba cultivation now let's uh, rather than reading the things that are given here let's uh, break this thing down you have two types of river in our country one is Himalayan rivers that you find in the northern part and then you have uh, peninsula rivers now basic difference between these two rivers is that one river the northern ones or Himalayan rivers are originating from Himalayan range so you have when you have snowfall you would be adding water to this river when you have rainfall you would be adding water when you have summer the snow would be melting and at this would be adding so this will keep this river with water 24 by 7 365 days right the Himalayan rivers but this rivers they don't have uh, their their origination point is I'm talking about this Godavari Krishna and Kaveri I'm not talking about this Narmada and uh, Tapi or Tapti right uh, I'm talking about this three rivers here predominantly and this all rivers they fall under this peninsular rivers and they are not uh, you can say perennial rivers uh, perennial means the river that is having water throughout the year they are seasonal rivers so here you have uh, this uh, Western Ghats and uh, the clouds, right? They basically they this Western Ghat will work as a wall, and uh, when these clouds will hit this wall, then they will turn these droplets, and then finally you have this river. This is a long story short. So they are not uh, perennial rivers; they are seasonal rivers. So naturally, in summertime, you are going to face water scarcity. Now rainfall as well in parts of uh, Tamil Nadu and parts of Andhra Pradesh, Puducherry, you know that you have rainfall in the winter season. And problem is basically the issues that are going on between different states when it comes to river water sharing is, uh, is uh, basically associated with economy or you can say agriculture. So the only thing that we can do at present is that we have to find, we have to implement those technologies through which we can create more crops with, or you can say, per drop more crop, right? Uh, this is a sort of statement of Prime Minister as well. This is the need of the hour and Israel is a country that is going to be here. Israel's Prime Minister is going to be here and we know how they have develop different technologies through which they are growing crops so this is going to be the only solution I believe or one of the best solution a long-term solution because uh, we don't want to see different states within our country uh, to be against each other and knocking the doors of court and creating lots of problems so technology is a thing that can uh, that can solve this problem forever Israeli Prime Minister indirectly in direct, indirectly I have told you this thing so he, he is here now as we are speaking 
and uh, uh, we will uh, this is going to be a six day visit so many things uh, will be discussed on regular basis so let's uh, leave it uh, for the future uh, ice uh, we have found ice on Mars this is the only thing that you can take away from this item just keep in mind that we have uh, found ice on the Mars with this uh, SpaceX Dragon cargo craft this is basically a subtle cargo craft that is um, that delivered all the important items like uh, supplies and scientific materials and things like that uh, to international space station so this is a future right this may look very simple but if you think then you will find that this is going to be a sort of uh, two-way journey or you can say back and forth journey from space to earth uh, so uh, this is going to be a big thing in future at, at present it may look very simple but this is a giant uh, you can say leapfrog for uh, humanity harvest festival this is the thing i was talking about uh, in it is called lohri in north india punjab haryana and himachal and delhi uh, uruku is known at uh, the same festival is known as uruku in uh, uruka basically uruka i'm sorry uruka in uh, assam and then you have uh, bhogi festival in tamil Nadu. there are different names in different parts uh, this is just a small example and uh, what i'm trying to tell you here is that uh, this thing this festivals are or most of the festivals that you find in our country are associated with harvest i'm not saying all of them most of them right so most of them are associated with harvest festivals or post harvest harvest festival and based on that you have uh, our society i'll give you a small example now what happens uh, in harvest festival you have sold your crops uh, so you would be having cash or you can say you'd be having money in your hand now you would be having enough you might have stored enough grains and food uh, item uh, for uh, that will take you for another couple of months maybe so food security is achieved right uh, food security is something that is achieved now and I'm just giving you a rough example I hope with the help of this one you would be able to understand how things work so now you have money as well now you have food security so the best thing is that uh, you will see that if you have uh, say for example kids right uh, then you will think about their marriage uh, that uh, and you will find it as well that uh, based on this astrology and other things uh, the good dates I don't know the proper word English word for but the lucky dates uh, or you can say good days uh, that we call in our language local language so it is going to take place from today that is uh, 14th so from 15th you will have all these uh, auspicious dates in our calendar and uh, marriage season and buying vehicles and buying property and all those uh, good things uh, will be done positive things will be uh, carried on uh, from tomorrow uh, generally speaking in different parts of our country and the reason behind it is uh, this sort of things right so this is how uh, a society or a civilization uh, or this is how festivals they they are not just festivals for no reason there are some scientific as well as geographical historical economical political reasons working behind it it is upon us whether we are able to detect it or not with this dear friends uh, that's everything that we have got here this is the question what is or are the main reasons behind current turmoil in supreme court do analyze it i'm not just asking for the reason you have to find the reason behind the reason why we are seeing this situation i'm sure you know that four judges have given have came out with a statement but why they have to come out and uh, what are the things uh, what are the things that we can sort out and things like that second question is why polls have six months of day and six months of night uh, it's not exactly six months but i'm sure you know what i'm talking about north pole and south pole so why we have uh, this sort of situation that these are some of the questions that i have got for you not regular questions bit out of box question you may also say uh, with this difference don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel download this file from my facebook page which is prashanti maoni or our official telegram channel make sure you check out studyiq.com and up to 40 percent discount is not bad at all so make sure if you are planning to if you are if you are uh, if you have planned or if you really i would reckon you to get one right if you are preparing for upsc or on a, uh, any other different exams then you should have our pen time template courses because the lectures that you will get in it are designed by the best faculties of our country you can cheer us uh, by giving us your like and positive comments with this dear friends i end this discussion enjoy your kite flying festival and i will see you all soon 
टेक केयर जय हिंद